everybody. Uh, my name is Jennifer Maurer. I'm a nurse anesthesiologist here at Colorado Plastic Surgery Center. I have been doing Dr. Slankovich's anesthesia for about 14 years. It's been so much fun. Um, I wanted to let you know a little bit about myself. Um, I am, um, again, a nurse anesthesiologist. Um, I have trained at the Cleveland Clinic and um, Case Western Reserve many, many years ago. Um, I do a wide range of anesthetics here, and depending on the type of surgery that you're gonna have, depends on the type of anesthetic that we can cater towards. Um, I'll explain more about that in uh, detail in just a few minutes. I am on the board of directors here at the surgery center and also am the medical director over on the operating side. Most people are super concerned about their anesthetics. That is the part that makes them most nervous when it comes to having surgery. So we really try to do our best to put you at ease is in regards to you know how we're going to take care of you and what to expect from the night we call you before to explain everything in regards to the anesthetic a lot about your health history and medications that you might take, and then up to the next day when we get to see you in the pre-op area. So in the pre-op area, when we see you in the morning, you'll be able to ask us any other questions that morning, and we'll explain a little bit more in detail kind of what to expect. If you're having a breast augmentation with Dr. Slankovich, uh, ideally, our goal is that we can do something called a MAC anesthesia, and MAC stands for Monitored Anesthetic Care. And what's great about this type of an anesthetic is that we don't have to control your airway. We can give you less amount of medications and we're capable of doing this because Dr. Slankovich is so good at using local anesthetics. He can numb the breast tissue as well as nerves that innervate the chest wall. And that allows us to just run medications through your IV. You get to have just a nasal cannula oxygen in your nose, which is basically this. And then we only need that as far as your airway goes to kind of supplement your oxygen. When you're under sedation, you breathe for yourself, but overall you're not usually taking as deep a breath. So if we can supplement with a little bit of oxygen, that makes us um, achieve the numbers that we know you're oxygenating your, bu your body correctly at. You're gonna have standard monitors. We're gonna do EKG. We're gonna watch your heart rhythm with that. We're gonna hook you up to a blood pressure cuff that measures your blood pressure throughout the procedure. And then we have a little clip here which actually monitors the blood pressure oxygen, sorry, not the blood pressure, but the um, oxygen saturation within your blood. If you're having any other type of procedures with Dr. Slankovich, um, usually you're going to have a general anesthetic. And a general anesthetic really means that we're going to control your airway um, by two means. We're either gonna put a little device in the back of your throat, which is usually, these are what we like to use. They're just a little flexible device that we sit in the back of your throat after we have you off to sleep. And it just secures your airway a little bit so we can allow our breathing machine to assist your breathing if we would like um, any additional breathing support. The second type of general anesthetic airway that we use is something called an endotracheal tube. And these go in with, um, with a device that we can go and look into the back of your throat after you're asleep. Everybody is asleep after we use these devices, I promise you. There's pros and cons to everyone and we tailor our anesthetics specifically to you and the type of procedure that you're having done. So our goal is that we tailor our anesthetic to your procedure, but we also give you the minimum amount so you wake up feeling great, low chance for nausea and vomiting, because that's really our ultimate goal, is that we get you to the recovery room nice and comfortable, but we allow you to recover fairly quickly and get yourself home so you can be at your own house, in your bed, in your recliner, whatever's most comfortable to you. Um, we do follow-up phone calls the next day. Um, if there's any issues, um, we address anything.